talk about how you overcame some of the let's call them like objections that an employer would have to a to an MBA to someone like with your profile that wants to get into PM has a few years of experience good experience um, but none of which is engineering yeah um, I think you know I took the obligatory like uh, CS for MBAs at Harvard they offered that across the across the river so I took, took that and that was more for my own foundation in, in like learning than like pointing to it on a resume and saying, look, I took this class, I now know CS, which you definitely don't after that one class, even though it's a great introduction. But I think like for the most part, for folks who wanna get into PMing, you need to have PM experience. And that probably feels a little paradoxical. It's like, well, how do I get PM experience if I'm not a PM? But I think it's really just doing product. Uh, and that can be a lot of different things. That can be like, create your own blog. Um, that could be create an app with a friend, which is what I ended up doing during my MBA, which was super phenomenal amount of learning. Uh, and I was very lucky to find someone who was willing to teach me and help me learn that stuff. Um, or it could even be like, you know, when I was at Google as a marketer, um, I was responsible for managing some of our, like, our website content um, and eventually worked with our like in-house developer team to like build a tool that made that easier. Um, or at some point, like I was, I was building banner ads, like 300 by 250 in Snow Square. Like my job a while for a while on Google for marketing was building banner ads and actually a very fun problem because you're like super constrained. So like, how do you make a banner ad that will stand out to people? Um, but eventually worked with someone to like create a tool where we could like templatize some options and like really quickly iterate on the design because like it would use a Gmail compose window, but what it said would could change. And it's like, well, you could have someone animate that and like do that all each time or build a tool to do that. And so without realizing it at the time, that is product because you're just, you're, you're defining or you're at least identifying a problem and you are essentially scoping out a solution to address that problem and then working with developers to go create that tool and then go use it. Like you're your own customer in that regard or your own user. And so it was, it was helpful for me to be able to draw on examples of like, yeah, I don't have PM on my resume. I've never been a PM, but I've done a lot of product thinking and here are examples of that. And I think just getting into that form of thinking and being able to point to things and showing initiative too. I think like, for example, like, make a blog, like just take the time to understand, hey, there's this like segment of interest that I have, or there's like content people really want to consume that doesn't have a good website for it today. I'm gonna go create that content. I'm gonna go set up Blogger or some other sort of like resource, push that content out there. I'm gonna have some data on how many people come to see me. You know, I have understand which content performs better. Like, there you go, you're, you're doing product. And so I feel like just, seeking out opportunities to demonstrate the interest is genuine and actually that you've had some form of experience doing that kind of work is the best way i think to then prove to someone hey like i've done product work i'd like to be a pm 